guys, so I'm finally filming my Q&A today. I'm sorry it's taking me so long to film this. It's just, I've been super busy, like doing a lot of work and um, I just haven't had the time to do it. So um, I asked you guys to ask me questions on my Instagram a few weeks ago and I got a bunch of questions. So I'll be ask, answering some of them and yeah, I'm excited. Let's get started. Who's your biggest inspiration? Probably my mom. Honestly, let's be real. What are you gonna put in your YouTube account? Um, I'm I plan on doing like modeling stuff because I know people like want to see that, you know, and makeup things, food things, really anything. I'm not sure. Random stuff. Have you ever been in movies or ever planned to? I've always wanted to be in a movie my whole life. I've never been in one, but I want to. I've never taken acting classes, but I think I. I don't know. <laughs> I just, I want to. Why don't you have acne? I do, but I've never had really bad acne, but sometimes I'll have a little bit. I get pretty bad pimples sometimes, but I just gotta wash my face. I don't know. <laughs> what irritates you the most about Instagram? Great question. Um, probably the fact that it's so easy to compare yourself because people are going to post the best pictures of themselves, you know? Like my Instagram, I post whatever I think I look good or decent in, but there's so many pictures on my camera roll where I look so like, just like just embarrassing bad pictures of myself. I'll, p I'll put one here, like, <laughs> so I, I don't know. It's like, that's something I struggle with, like comparing myself to other people and I kind of stop doing that. But whenever I do, it's like, oh, why am I doing modeling? Like, look at these girls, blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, just don't compare yourself because you're not going to go very get very far if you're just comparing yourself the whole time. So everyone's different. You know, everybody like compares themselves to other people and has their own insecurities. And Instagram is just like a bunch of like everyone seems like they have a perfect life, blah, blah, blah. You don't really know what someone's life is based off of their Instagram because they just post on their vacations and like the prettiest places and prettiest pictures of themselves. So it's like just have to remember that that's not totally their reality like if it is and good for them but just don't compare yourself because that's just not smart no i have never dyed it one time i put like kool-aid in the ends but that doesn't count and that was so long ago but yeah never dyed it it gets super blonde in the summer and right now it's winter so it's kind of dark i don't know if you could tell but yeah never dyed it People get shocked when I say I've never dyed it. They're like, yeah, you have. I'm like, no, no, I haven't. Well, I modeled when I was really young and then I stopped and I got braces and all that. And then I started again, like sophomore year of high school. I just went to an open audition because I always knew I wanted to be a model. I'd always have my sister like take pictures of me and my cousins, like have little photo shoots and stuff. So, so I just went to an open audition for Ford and then I got signed right then and there. And then I switched over to LA models like a little bit after so I just I honestly just use like Pantene like the clean shampoo and like the volumizing conditioner I think just I don't know why I just I feel like the clean stuff makes my head feel really clean so I just use that I've always just kind of used whatever um, shampoo and conditioner is in the shower honestly and then I actually use this stuff when I get out of the shower and it makes my I just it makes my hair not as like frizzy and because when I brush my hair it'll get super frizzy especially this under part down here it's like pretty it's like curlier under here and it gets super weird so this stuff makes it like silkier and can you see it just nicer so that's what I use what is your favorite brand I've worked with definitely guess I just started working with guess and I wasn't sure what it was going to be like because I'm like, I want to, I knew I wanted to model for them because it's a pretty big company, but I was like curious if it was fun and stuff. And it's really fun and it's not super long and hard days, you know, it's really fun. So definitely guess. And then probably Too Faced because I like sh shooting makeup. I wish I shot more makeup stuff. What's it like being a model? I don't know. <laughs> um, normal. For me, it's just my job I don't know what's it like being a model it's not like some like at least for me it's not like I'm some like glamorous life like lavish lifestyle it's just kind of my job 
and I really love it, but I don't know. <laughs> What's the best memory you had as a kid? I don't know if they have like, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if I have like one specific memory, but I think just being at the beach in general, like with my cousins, cause my cousins have been my best friends my whole life. So just like running around the beach all summer long is probably just like the best thing ever. <laughs> and I still do that. Why are you starting a YouTube channel? I don't know, cause I feel like it. I've always loved like vlogging t on my Snapchat just for fun, like to my friends, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I feel like I'd be good at YouTube cause I can just talk and talk into a screen for so long. And I'm like, I should probably <laughs> do that. I just like, I don't know, I was not planning, I never thought I'd actually do YouTube, but when the new year came, I was like, literally like New Year's Day, I was like, I'm gonna do YouTube this year. I'm, I'm just gonna do it, 2019, let's go, like, might as well. And I start like I started filming a video like the next day and I was like, a little nervous, but I don't really care. It's okay. What's your future pet's name? I'm not gonna tell you, cause someone's gonna steal it, but I have like a whole list on my notes on my phone of um, names for cats that I want. So yeah, crazy cat lady over here. I have like a bunch of names. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say them, but there's some really good ones. It's a secret though. How do you get so tan? I don't know, but I can get super tan in the summer. So it's just, it just happens. I think cause I'm German, so maybe that has something to do with it, but I'll be in the sun for like five minutes and I'll have tan lines. Most famous person you have ever met? Probably Kendall Jenner or The Rock. Those are probably the most famous people I've ever met. I just met Kendall Jenner um, in Del Mar and then I was on the show Ballers with The Rock and it was like a whole day of like filming and stuff and it was so much fun because me and The Rock were actually like talking and it was like, I was like, that's what made me kind of want to be an actress because I saw, I didn't have any lines, but I like saw how easy he and fun he made it look and I was like, wow, and he's such a genuinely like nice and funny person and we were, I was like, it was the best day of my life. Not really, but like, it was awesome. It was super fun. He's, he's genuinely like a really cool guy. So that was awesome. Editing the video and I realized I forgot to say that I've met Leonardo DiCaprio and Johnny Depp. So they're really famous too. So just gonna put that out there. That happened. What be doing if not modeling? Probably want a bathing suit brand. I'd probably go to college and study business or something so I can have a business of my own. I could still do that one day. I'm still planning on that one day, but not right now. Sorry, I had coffee and I'm like shaking. I'm like, ugh. Anyways, can you play any instruments? My grandma taught me how to play Twinkle Twinkle on the piano, so. And I know a few little guitar songs, but no, I really, I've never been good with instruments or singing or anything like that, so <laughs> not really. Um, what's the worst thing that's ever happened to you? Probably getting strep throat a bunch in my whole life. I hate getting strep throat. I always get it, so that's pretty bad. <laughs> um, how do you choose the best modeling agency? Great question. I'd say you have to try out a few agencies and see, like meet up with people if you're not already signed and meet up with agencies and see which one seems like they like you the best because whichever agency likes you the best, they'll work harder for you to get more jobs and like send you out to castings and make you more successful. So just see whichever one seems more excited about you and whichever one you like the best. I don't know. <laughs> and it's not true that the biggest agencies are always the best, I feel like. Some girls would be better with like a smaller boutique agency, I feel like, but it just depends. So whatever, whatever you, whatever you want. <laughs> Are you going to college? And if not, what are you doing instead? No, so when I graduated high school, I applied for online college, but then I just, I kind of knew I would never go to college. That sounds kind of bad, but I mean, education's important, but I just, I've, I already knew what I wanted to do. I've always known I wanted to be a model. So I'm like, if I'm already making money and have a career, then I don't see the point in going to college. So I signed, I like applied for online college and then I just, 
never pursued it. I just stopped. I could always go back if I wanted to, but right now I'm just enjoying my career and trying to work up in this industry. <laughs> Where are you from? California, born and raised? Yep, born and raised in Del Mar. So my dream modeling gig would to be Walk Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, even though I haven't done runway yet. So I need to start that because it's like, obviously, I think that's everyone's dream modeling gig. Like to be on the cover of Vogue and um, I have a lot of dreams, honestly, but I feel like if I say them out loud, they won't happen. Actually, that's not, I don't know. So I'll just say, I want, I want to, um, I love to walk for the Victoria's Secret fashion show, be a v Victoria's Secret angel, that'd be freaking awesome. I've always wanted to, like, every single time the Victoria's Secret fashion show comes on, I'm like walking around, I'm like, I can do that, like that, that could be me, blah, 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 but I haven't even done runway, so I'm like, maybe we should take some baby steps and start learning how to walk in heels because I'm so clumsy, so <laughs> let's just see how that goes. How are your lashes so long? Do you use any serum? Mm -mm, no, I don't use serum, but I just don't sleep in my mascara, and I feel like that helps because when I was younger and I like first started putting mascara on and stuff, I, would, like, I wouldn't care, I would just sleep in it, and I feel like my eyelashes would get ruined from that, but I haven't done that in like years. For the most part, I always try and take it off, so that's probably how they stay on. <laughs> they don't fall out. If you could go anywhere in the world tomorrow, where would it be? Hmm. I have not been to that many places. I have not traveled that much at all, so I'll probably, uh, maybe, oh, Tokyo. I probably would want to go to Tokyo. That'd be cool. I want to go to Greece. I want to go to Bali. But I've heard Bali's kind of dirty, but I still want to see it for myself. And um, Paris. That'd be cool. <laughs> um, I never had like a set routine and kept it for a super long time. It's always changing. Um, I used to do like hot yoga sculpt for a while, and I would do boxing for a while. And my working out routine is kind of all over the place. Like sometimes, like lately for a while, I've just been doing these like little exercises in the garage or whatever um, that I feel like are pretty good. So <gasps> I don't know, I do like random workouts. I'm still trying to figure out what workouts best for me. So I'll get back to you on that one. What made you want to get started in modeling? I just always known that I wanted to like my whole life. I did when I was really young. I don't really remember it that well, but my grandma modeled and my mom modeled and um, they weren't like famous models or anything, but I knew that they did it. And I've always, I just always wanted to. I would force my sister to take me. I would like everywhere we go, I'd be like, mom, take a picture of me. Like I'd be like, like doing stuff like that. Actually there's some really funny pictures of me trying to model when I was younger, like pretty funny. <laughs> Anyways, um, would you rather be in that one shark movie where the shark cage falls to the ocean floor, or would you rather skydive without a parachute? I'd rather skydive without a parachute because that movie, when they drop to the ocean floor, seems like the scariest thing ever. And I love the ocean, but that's just, that is terrifying. First of all, in a cage. Second of all, in the very bottom of the ocean? Oh my god, no. I'd rather parachute without a, skydive without a parachute. I'll just land in some water. Maybe I'll pass out or something, but hopefully I'll survive. In all reality, I'd probably freak out and be like, what the hell? Um, my favorite job that I've ever done, it's probably a while ago um, when I first, like this was, I, cause I never done a job like this really before. So I was, it was, um, like prom dresses for like Seventeen Magazine and Teen Vogue and it was like, it was gonna be in those magazines. But um, I was walking around like Santa Monica with his boy band and this other model and it was like the coolest thing at the time. So I always remember that because we were walking around and all these people were like taking pictures because they thought we were like famous or something. And I was like, wow, this is really cool. Like 
that was really fun for me. I was like, even though it was super hot, but I was like, this is so cool. And like my mom was there, I think. Yeah, because I wasn't eight. I wasn't eighteen, so my mom would come with me sometimes. Twenty. Twenty years old. Whenever I'm at a photo shoot, they're like, oh, how long have you been modeling for? And I'm like, I always say like, I've been saying like four years or something. I don't know, because I started when I was a sophomore in high school. So let me get the real answer. Let me just think about it. One, two, three, four, five. I think five years. Jesus. Um, but I've only been doing full-time modeling for like two years. Um, please try to say, Luki du bist so hoops Aberdeen Freund sind alle Scourge. There. <laughs> I said it. Um, does acting interest you? Yes, for sure. I think going night snorkeling in Catalina, that was pretty wild because I'm afraid of the dark, so for me that was pretty wild. We saw the um, bioluminescence, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but the like plankton algae stuff that like glows in the dark. When you like move your hands under the water, it's like glowing and that was like so cool. That was the coolest thing ever. Okay, so the last question is, how did you and your boyfriend meet? And I like this question. Um, so he found me on Instagram and he messaged me. He said, how can I trick you into dating me? Cause you're a total fox and I want to take you to a spaghetti dinner. And I was like, that's funny. It made me laugh. So I was like, okay, normally I won't respond to like random boys that message me on Instagram. Cause I'm like, they probably message that to a million girls, like gross. But, um, I would his Instagram and he like posted things of him fishing and with his sisters and just normal boy stuff like motorcycles and whatever and he looked cute and I was like okay fine I'll respond like um so we were talking for like two weeks and then we met in person for the first time I invited him down to Del Mar with to hang out with me and Cassidy and then um a week later we were like officially dating so I've never had a boyfriend before and he's never had a girlfriend, so it's pretty cute. And it's almost been like seven months now, so. so. Anyways, that concludes my question and answer video. Finally, I finally did it. I've been waiting to take this video for so long. I just never had the time. So thank you guys so much for watching this and I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry if I didn't answer any of your questions, but yeah, I think I did pretty good um answering most of the questions and like this subscribe to my channel message me any like other videos you want me to do because i don't know what video i'm going to be doing next so give me some ideas whatever you want to see i'll see you next time Bye.